guys, my name is Faisal. You are watching Technology in the Future. What are the specs of the Galaxy S23 Plus? So far, we seem to know quite a lot about the upcoming phone mostly based on rumors. Of course, the Galaxy S23 series is coming in just a few months, currently rumored for early February 2023. Complementing the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra family and fat as the middle size smart flagship. However, just like the previous Galaxy Plus devices, this one would also remain in the thick shadow of its much more interesting larger and more expensive piece, the highly anticipated Galaxy S23 Ultra. The middle child of Samsung flagship lineup does not have the compact dimensions of the regular Galaxy, while the Ultra model always has way more impressive hardware that makes it a much more appealing purchase. Aside from the Galaxy S23 Plus, Samsung also has two other phones in the pipeline. Of course, we are talking about the Galaxy S23 and Galaxy S23 Ultra. Despite being part of the same generation, there are lots of distinct differences between the three devices. For one, the regular Galaxy S23 is a more compact version of the Galaxy S23 Plus with a smaller display and battery. But aside from that, hardware on both new devices is pretty similar. The Galaxy S23 Ultra, however, due to its more impressive name, has much more going for it in the hardware section, including a longer physical lens, an ammo larger display and battery and finally an aspect stylus on deck. The Galaxy S23 Plus design is expected to be mostly similar to the Galaxy S22 Plus without any major changes. However, don't expect your old Galaxy to fit your, your new Galaxy S23 Plus as there would definitely be some important changes on the deck. One of the main changes that we could see with the Galaxy S23 Plus could be a much smoother display than 120Hz like on the Ultra model. While we really do hope for such an improvement to making an appearance, so far we have heard no rumors of the type, which means that we might not see such a hardware changes. It's much more likely to see a 40Hz, 120Hz hybrid LTPS display on the Galaxy S23 Plus, similar to the Galaxy S22 Plus. Don't get us wrong. This display refresh rate is still upper smooth. In other display specs, we expect the Galaxy S23 Plus to score a 6.6 inches display with a sensible resolution of 2340 by 1080 pixels, just like the Galaxy S22 Plus. Of course, the display will be a dynamic AMOLED one. We should literally speak for itself and and hold the promise of expansion image quality and color rendition. While the Galaxy S23 Ultra is coming with an exciting 200 megapixel main camera and a trove of new features, rumors about the Galaxy S23 Plus camera are still not that many. Which means one thing, and one thing only, Samsung is unlikely to introduce that many hardware changes in comparison with the Galaxy S22 Plus. Thus all potential improvements will have to learn on software and algorithm improvements. As a refresher, the Galaxy S22 Plus come with a triple camera setup. It consisted of a 50 megapixel f by 1.8 main camera with a 1 by 1.56 sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with an f by 2.2 aperture and a 1 by 2.55 sensor and finally a 10 megapixel 3x optical zoom lens with an f by 2.4 aperture and a small 1 by 3.94 camera sensor. Up front we had a 10 megapixel f by 2.2 selfie camera. Well, we expect Samsung to keep that layout and introduce feature and software improvements to the camera setup. One such leak revealed that the telephoto camera of the Galaxy S23 Plus could jump to 11 megapixel up from 10 megapixel, and we should also expect a 12 megapixel selfie camera. A slight improvement over the 10 megapixel unit found on the Galaxy S22 Plus. That's it. For now, for more updates, please subscribe to our channel Technology in the Future. Until the next video, take care of yourself. Bye bye.